and off we go. I didn't think I would have to cross a river today. <laughs> Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> Maybe I should not film. First section of snow to walk through. Uh, yeah, I can see why this is called Dry Lake. <laughs> it's gonna be very dry very soon. Found a beautiful little campsite for tonight. Actually, a rain the ranger just showed it to me. Apparently another ranger built this and it can protect me a little bit from the wind because it is supposed to get really freaking windy tonight but it is so beautiful out here Ah, I'm loving it Day two, after a really crazy, very windy night, <laughs> um, I think it's going to be a perfect day to sun it. Uh, looks really nice. I'll show you guys. Actually, I think you can't see much. You see that tiny little snow patch in the middle there? It's kind of covered by clouds right now. But it looks blue skies. Looks like a good day for a Sangorgonio summit. As much as I love snow, the unfortunate part is you cannot see the trail. So I got off trail and I had to just trudge up. I, you can't even see it here right now, but it goes all the way down and I had to find the trail and hike all that snow up. Man, that was hard. Without my micro spikes, I would have not made it. Yeah, but luckily, I just found the trail again. Honestly, without my GPS, I'd be lost. 
Ah, so yeah, I found the trail. There's more snow to come, but yeah, I'll work my way up there. <laughs> I'm slowly making my way to the top and the emphasis is on slowly. <laughs> There's a lot of micro spikes on, micro spikes off going on here. Lots of snow. Yeah, really slow. But I'm slowly getting there. Almost there, almost there, really close. Just around there. Summit. Frozen face, frozen hands, frozen ears. <laughs> no. Oh my god. There was just a spot where I literally had to stand diagonally at an angle because the wind would have otherwise blown me away. <laughs> this is fucking crazy. I'm here right now here covered in like between a bunch of rocks so it's not so super crazy windy. Oh my god, that was the longest ass six miles. Oh my god. Alright, and I'm not down. Yay! <laughs> how I like it. <laughs> the wind has stopped. It slowed down quite a bit. I should rather say not stopped. Um, I'm just cruising down now. So this is nice and easy cruising. <sighs> very, very, very pretty. So I just came down all the way up down from that hill there. See from there all the way straight down through the snow. I tried to glissade it down. Glissade, gliss, glissade, whatever. <laughs> um, did not work. So I just walked. I figured since the trail is right down there, it's still gonna be shorter than walking all around. <laughs> so it turns out what I did was a very stupid idea. Looks fun. I came down from there, but I went too far down. I went all the way down there. I should have stopped somewhere here because now I have to get 300 feet up back to the trail. <laughs> I'm so stupid. 
Oh my god. <laughs> so much for saving time. Holy crap. <laughs> that was stupid. <laughs> <sighs> I found the trail. It's right there. But holy shit. <sighs> I'm so hot now. <laughs> That was so hard. That was like a fucking cliff straight up. My lungs are on fire right now. Oh my god. Okay. Never gonna do that shit again. Okay. Let's move on. Damn. Crazy to think that I just came down from that. <laughs> And I'm back in cruising mode, just making my way down now through this burnt forest. <laughs> Alrighty, almost at the end now. That was a nice quick 21 mile loop through the San Gorgonia wilderness. Summited. This morning, San Gorgonia Mountain, highest peak of Southern California, uh, froze my face off. <laughs> Man, that was cold up there. Now it's all warm down here. Yeah, but that was a really cool trip. <laughs> Man, so good to be back out here. Sad to see that so much of it is burned, really, but Still beautiful, still all beautiful. All right, see you for my next adventure. <laughs>